Hi guys, this is Plari. Have you ever thought about buying a sketchbook but when you checked the price you were like Well, I got your back because today I'm gonna show you how to make a DIY sketchbook using materials that could be lying around in your house. So here's what we're gonna need. Watercolor paper, scissors, paper cutter, thread and needle, pencil, glue, ruler, and lastly, a tiny bit of your patience. Let's start by folding the sheets of paper into halves. To do this, I mark the center of the paper. Since my watercolor paper measures 12 inches, that makes it 6. Take your ruler and draw a line. It will serve as your guide later on. And then I took my paper cutter and created a crease by lightly cutting it. Make sure you only apply a tiny bit of force. You don't want to cut the paper in half. And I thought the sharp tip of the cutter was too risky, so I decided to use the other tip. Um, just make sure to do that to every sheet of paper. Fold them very carefully so that there won't be unevenness to the fold. And once we're done, we're ready to move on to the next step. The next thing that we're going to need to do is to mark where you want your holes to be for stitching. In my case, the distance between each mark is 1.5 inch. Then I'm going to take my ruler and draw a line. This saves the time instead of marking each of the paper. You just have to make sure that they are being held down and aligned properly. And then once we're done marking the paper, we are ready to poke in some holes. Just take a needle, preferably a big one, so that you won't have troubles pulling the thread through later on. This is a spare needle from a sewing machine and it's wide, so I thought this would be perfect for poking through holes. I think um, this is my favorite part of the process because it's very satisfying and relaxing. And we're done! Now let's move on to making our sketchbook cover. You will need a cardboard or an illustration or anything hard enough for you. I used the paper as my guide and left 5mm allowance and cut it. Since the board isn't hard enough for me, I cut 4 pieces of the same size since I decided to glue 2 of them together to achieve my desired sturdiness. Now I'm just gluing them together and did basically the same thing to the other pair. After that, you want to press them down with something heavy and flat, like a book perhaps, for a couple of minutes to really make sure that they stick together. Now I'm applying glue to the surface once again, and then I took any construction paper available and pasted it on my cover page. And then I just cut the edges like this and glued them at the back of my cover page to give it a nice clean look. I repeated these steps to the other and put it aside. And now it's finally time to stitch bind the pages together. Thread your needle and tie a knot. You can tie it more than once to make sure it's really secure. Take a page and start by inserting your needle to the first hole. Make sure to pull the thread through carefully to avoid tangling. Then out through the second hole. Then insert it to the next. And then once you reach the last hole, go through the previous one like so. And then out to the next. And into the first hole where you started. Now insert your needle around the stitch and pull. Make sure not to pull it through completely to make a loophole. Then insert your needle through it to make a knot. After that, insert it through the first hole again and now add the second page on top. Go through the first hole, then back out the next one. Now insert it through the thread below it. And then back up to the thread beside it and then go through the same hole. Continue doing the same step until the last hole. Now add another page on top and then go through the first and then out through the second one. This time, insert it behind the previous stitch and pull the thread through.
Then return the needle back into the hole where it came from. And then do this for the rest of the holes. Once you reach the last hole, go through it just like what you did with the other ones, but this time return it to a new page. And then from here on, all you have to do is repeat the process. When your thread is not long enough anymore, just create a loop and go through it to make a knot, and then cut your thread off. Thread your needle again and from the outside, go through the same hole where you stopped and then start repeating the process until you reach the last hole of the last page. At the last hole, I inserted the needle and created a loop and then went through the loop to secure the knot. And then lastly, I cut the excess thread. You can also apply glue to the knot to make sure that it's secure. Now, apply glue on the surface of the first page and stick your front cover to the first page. Do the same to the back and press it down with a book or anything heavy and flat. Now this is optional, but I decided to decorate my sketchbook with my DIY stickers. I chose to keep it minimal and aesthetic, and I then took my glue and applied it on the back of my drawing, and then I pasted it on my sketchbook. And we are finally done! I love this binding technique because it's very easy to follow and the way you can lay it flat on the table with ease makes it perfect for painting and drawing. It was kinda challenging because it's my first time doing stitch binding. It took quite a lot of patience and trusting the process but in the end it really paid off. It was a fun thing to do and I believe I'm gonna make more of these soon. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed my video and thank you for watching. Bye!